What's up, guys? What's up? I'm here in Leticia with my boy Kel. Where are you? We're heading to Brazil for well, numerous things, including the carnival. But I thought I'd uh, start here. We're in the border of Colombia. There is a town we can actually walk into that's Bra Brazilian here. But the plan is to uh, check into a hotel today and then maybe catch a bus tomorrow. Not a bus, a, a boat tomorrow that can bring us more inland into another bigger city here in Bra uh, Brazil. We're gonna be taking a, uh, we're gonna be going on some river and it's gonna bring us there. Um, but I wanted, wanted you to know um, if you are doing the same thing at the airport, you're gonna have to check out your passport, all right? You can download this app called CheckMig and basically just check yourself out and then you go to the customs agent, immigration agent, and then you show them that, hey, I just checked out of the country. Or there'll be a guy there, he charges five um, pesos, he might charge 10 yep. if it's a middleman. <laughs> the middleman tried to charge me 10 and then yep. he left and I just went straight to the guy and the guy charged me five. So 10, five, doesn't matter. And um, he'll go ahead and get your passport and enter all the information. Why, why would you go to him if your internet is not working? So he did it real quick fast professional and um yeah i was able to show uh, the immigration officer that i checked out based off of the photos like he made me take a picture of the information and yeah i checked out so i can stay in this city leticia for one more day or i can um leave and go to the next city which is a walking distance and um go there but tomorrow we we plan on um getting on a boat but today Let's check into a hotel here, Leticia. I hear the hotels are better here. And then maybe actually walk into Brazil and see what's going on in Brazil just a little bit. And then tomorrow we'll just get on a boat. But uh, hope, hopefully you are excited about me back on the road. Just wanna make it clear for a lot of you guys. If you see me do new things in my channel, doesn't mean I'm changing my format, okay? I've always been the... I've always been the type of guy that's creative and trying to create new type of content. Doesn't mean I'm switching content or anything like that. I noticed a lot of you guys were trying to accuse me of trying to switch content or I'm not doing new things or, or I'm I'm leaving or I'm banning new things after two weeks of uh, uploading. All right guys, so anyway, we're at the hotel. So let's check out the hotel. So for my understanding, this is the best hotel to stay at here in the city of Leticia. Under a hundred bucks a night. We didn't do any reserves, so I don't even know if there's any rooms available. We got, but we're about to find out. All right, guys, so this is the hotel right here. They have a uh, house dog here, a couple house dogs here. Yeah. One, his name is Mancha. And the other one, uh, I like to call the dogs by my own name. Uh, you can see he's wagging his tail. I won't touch him though, but seems like a cool dog. Looks like they have a restaurant here. Um, from the pictures, they have a pool. <laughs> Just in case you want to cool down, it is humid here. As, mean, as soon as you get here, you can feel the humidity. That's a pool over there. Really nice. Not bad, not bad. I'll show you a little bit more once we, uh, once I check in. Uh, very important. The water uh, no green, you can't go top. Green. It's no top. This is okay. Okay, okay. All right. All right, guys. So let me show you a quick tour of this place. Um, the guy just told me make sure you don't drink the tap water here so all right not bad i paid 310 pesos for the night um there are other cheaper accommodations <laughs> but i uh, thought i'd show you what they the best they have here apparently so this is one of the pools they have here all right just in case you're wondering and then the pool area gets loud and then um, this area right here. So this is like a tour area right here. I guess if you come in and you need to talk to someone that can set up a tour, this might be it for you. And then here is another pool area. It's just a little bit more <laughs> chill, relaxing. Not bad. Okay, you have a kitchen here to get some food. 
right here. All right. Hope this helps you out when you come here. Okay. We uh, like some good food. Uh, they got a full staff here. <laughs> I guess this might be the hotel you want to stay at. Now it's time for me to show you my room. Okay. First thing first, so they have, looks like it's an open space. Then you have a huge bathroom, okay? Shower right here. And then another tub slash jacuzzi. Wow. All right, area to work. Really nice. And then bed, I haven't laid on it yet. Seems comfortable. And then it seems to have a wraparound balcony or something. Let's see. Got the AC, of course. And then this huge balcony, wow. Really nice, you can just look outside, see what's going on in the city. All right, let's actually walk outside, actually. Then. All of this is my balcony. Got a, a BBVA in the front. Another bank here, and then uh, I have two more balconies. This is my room, and that other one is my balcony. So I should have disconnected everything, but either way, um, very nice. All right. So um, I know we said we might be going on a boat ride to another town. I would love to do that, but it seems like it might be a little bit way too expensive. I want to go to another town to meet the people of that particular town. However, if it don't happen, we might just be catching a flight tomorrow to get where we need to go. When we got here, we met a, like a tour guide at the airport. The only problem with the tour guide is he didn't have all his information. He just kept telling us the information, but he didn't have pictures to demonstrate or everything. So I didn't feel comfortable giving him my money until I can confirm it. So we're waiting for him. He says he get, he's going to his office to uh, send me all the information. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we get on a boat, but the boat can be expensive. So most definitely look online, do your own search. If you want to take a boat ride or whatever tour you want to do, do your research. Just type in Leticia and then tours you can do in this city and then they, they should pop up. But um, yeah, we're here. Today's Friday, so I heard it's like uh, nightlife or, or, or this way. And I also heard that this city is pretty much safe. You can walk around it and everything. I do recommend you wearing some comfortable clothing because it is kind of humid here. For the locals, it's normal. For if you're not a local, you might be sweating like me. All right, guys, so we are walking downtown to see what this place looks like. Same block as the hotel. Uh, literally down the, uh, the street is the hotel. And yeah, I was told if we walk further out this way, we'll see the river. And from the river, we can catch a boat and it's like a 10 minute ride to go to Peru. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Peru right quick and then we're gonna see what's up with, with uh, Brazil. But we're still in Colombia and Leticia, the town of uh, Leticia. Uh, so it's like a nice area right here, man. People minding their own business, friendly people, very progressive town. One of the most cleanest downtowns I've seen. <laughs> Really nice here. All right, let me see if I can show you something else. Man, guys, just looking at the city, the place is amazing. It's really um, fit for um, a tourism, to be honest with you. I feel like the locals are just used to just seeing outsiders every day come out here to come for the Amazon. And uh, yeah, man, it's beautiful here. Very beautiful. Uh, you know what? For some reason, I thought it was gonna be a little bit shady here. Me too. Because it's the oh, border, bordering border, town. Yeah, bordering town. Yeah. yeah. And I, I thought it was gonna be like everybody's gonna be like, act, like yada yada, like action, action. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Hey, oh, come on, come on. Well, kind yeah, of yeah. You know, the guy we met earlier. He was calm. Yeah. He was still cool, but he didn't have the information. He we didn't need. got what we need. Yeah. Yeah, but so far. Good. This is chill. This reminds me of parts of Asia with all these car the bikes. Yep. This is like ever. a little Thailand area right here. <laughs> no, for real. Are you sure I'm not going to sit 
Huh? Are you sure we're not gonna extend our stay here? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. Well, uh, we, we gotta see how the nightlife is. Yeah. And we ain't tried the food here yet. Right. But so far the people, I give it a, a, a plus. Mm -hmm. And um, the energy is most definitely here. You got the grocery store and everything yeah. here. When you come in here, you have to pay like a fee yeah, if you're going to stay here. And I think that fee helps um, with the services they do here. And you can, if it does, it really does show here. I look at the road. Too. Right. This is crazy. We about to go to Peru. I always wanted to go to Peru, yeah. but not like this. Not but, like this but I'll be back Peru just to give you a better, a better show. But go we just gonna pop up in Peru, see how it go. <laughs> What's going on, Haiti? 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 ID? Hola. What's up? What? Que pasó? No hay bote hoy. Domingo nos vamos a ir. Entonces, ¿qué va a hacer hoy? Estamos buscando hotel. Ok. Yo estaba en el hotel se llama Wells. Wells. Uh, well, we met these girls in the. Um, well, we met a family, not these girls, but yeah. there's uh, girls there. And the family is going to. Uh, they're from Cali and they're going to actually go to um, Peru. Peru, okay. To, to work. But I, apparently their boat doesn't leave until Sunday, so they gotta be here for two days. Oh, they're gonna be here for two days. Right. Okay. So, All right. Right now they're looking for a hotel to stay at for the next two days, and then. Uh, right. Does this not look like Thailand? The only thing missing is the 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 power lines are a little bit uh, light. Right. Yeah. Normally the power lines got a lot more things going on, but yo, this is nice. I like this place. You know what? what? I can see people living here. Of course. I can see myself living here, actually. Right. Maybe for a month or two. Like, it's crazy. Well, we just been here. We already feel like we're going to be here for like a while. We already blend into the society. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why you feel like that? I mean, like, as I said, one, I'm African. Right. You know, it's more like. It's more like me back home. This is what I'm used to, like okay. the the the, 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 scoot, the bikes. Yeah, right. You know, people walking on the street. Right. Really. Everybody's just having a good time, man. Right. So when I come, like when I when I went to San Andres, right. the same thing happened. Okay. Yeah, that's why I feel like it's really cool. I feel like that because I I feel like this is a really cool place because it's nobody bothering me. No. Everybody in their lane. Everybody minding the business. I feel like. Things here are economical. Yeah. Uh, people are friendly. Yep. And. Huh? Oh, yeah, you know, I, I, I need ganja. <laughs> you need <laughs> ganja from Peru. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, take whoa, that out of the camera. Oh, no, you mean, you mean both. You mean lancha. I thought you said ganja. <laughs> cuanto, cuanto, eh, cuanto. Alright, so this is the water. Tres Tres fronteras, recorrer tres, tomar fotos con eso. No, no, do, solo Peru. Solo Peru. Sí. Vale, pedí eso. ¿Diez mil? Sí. Con la lancha ya, mira. Ya está la lancha. So, he said he can bring us for 10,000 um, 10, um, pesos each 10, to Peru. Back in 10,000 each? Para ir y volver? Sí. All right. All right, that's not a bad price. From what I hear, you can actually cross the border normally without even um, dealing with customs. But let's see what's going on. All right, guys. So after talking to the driver, that's not Peru. That's we're gonna Peru, right? no. We're gonna have to leave and then go over that way and um, make it. Okay. All right. Cool. Really nice. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, we got the boats we're going to take. Okay. Okay, we get on the boat. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. And here we come. That's it. That's all we need. All right, guys, we are making it out of here. Let's go. All right. So, Peru, there we go. He wants us to get inside a little bit more. All right. 
when I think about Amazon, I'm thinking barracudas yeah. in the water. Yeah. Uh, don't pee in the water because that's when those little those things. Those are those. I click, I click on you. <laughs> yeah. Don't pee. It'll swim right up the canal. Right. So we're we're leaving Colombia and we're going into Peru. Let's do it. Uh, Peru is right in front of us, guys. Okay. So there is a big um, body of water between us yep. and Colombia and Peru. Technically, I can add a new country to how many countries I've been, been to. You've been to Peru, right? <laughs> I just waited. Yep. Yeah, so. This is Peru. Hey, a moment, please. Moment, please. All right, all right. Take your time, madam. ¿Qué tiene aquí? Eso es lo que te estoy diciendo. ¿no? What the, he's basically telling me Santa Rosa. Ah, oh, that's Santa Rosa. Is that a Santa Rosa? Yeah. Ah, so basically, it really, um, this has a sign that's uh, saying, Welcome to Peru. Um, they have some type of food here. Solo que la isla es peruana. Okay. The only difference is this is a Peruvian island. We got a club right here. Is there anything worthwhile in the town? <laughs> anything anything worthwhile? No? It's worth it? Okay. Right. Alright guys, so what we plan on doing is uh, getting in one of these carts, ride around the city, might get a drink and then leave. Quick sightseeing in this area. Very nice here. It was worth coming out here. Yo, guys, definitely another chill town. Yeah. I can see uh, expats. That's why I saw that guy over yeah, there. The guy from Netherlands. Backpacker. Just you know what? I'm gonna stay in the Peru. Get a hotel here. Yep. And just chill. <laughs> he left. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> I got it on camera wherever he got off. Yeah. Got yeah, one of his girls' house, huh? Yeah. He gets some gold with his woman. Woman house. Tu mujer. He goes Glover. Yeah, yeah, he's like, well, he's like, yeah, he is. yeah, he's like, yeah, I want to go see one of my girls. Guayaba, 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 Ese pueblo o uh, la tiene mejor. Tratito de Pedro. Entre 
Leticia y Brasil, entre Leticia y Perú, pues Leticia. Ok, hay un bar que puede ir en Leticia. Hay muchos bares. Bora Bora se llama uno. Hoy está rico. Bora Bora. Ok. Mira el gringo aquí, vea. Ok. Chao. I guess that's the last to start there. <laughs> You're like a walk. Yeah. It's like I'm in my own world right now. <laughs> See, when I talk about the Peruvian women, that's like the height I'm looking at. Mm, they're like, they're not too tall. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. No, it's People in Ecuador, same thing. Uh -huh. Not all of them, but you know, yeah. everybody got their distinctive look. Yeah, to me, they're all the same people. Uh -huh. Is this born on man, different man made border? Yeah. You know what I mean? So we are walking now in this town, and uh, I guess we're in the heart of the town because this uh, immigration office here. But check out this. Right? Look at it in this building. This a hotel? So we are told that we can get some Peruvian uh, drink right here. So we're going to try one. Here I go. Ah, yo pienso era frío. No hay trago frío. Aquí es solo trago peruano. Ah, no. Nah, nah. Cerveza allá frío. ¿Dónde está la barra? Que tiene así, no, no quiere hay, comprar. No hay, aquí no hay de eso. El único que hay es este. Ah. No, no quiere comprar un, un, eso. Solo quiere comprar una cerveza frío o algo. No, no, no quiere no, trago. No. Usted me dijo trago, por eso le trae trago. Sí, Usted pero, quiere una pizza, mire, cerveza. Sí, sí, pero frío, frío, frío. 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 Y una cerveza en un bar que. Así, una. Solo allá abajo, solo abajo. Ah, abajo. Bueno, ah. Claro, no quiere comprar un botella. ¿Qué te dice aquí? So my tour guide misunderstood. I was trying to tell him like I wanted to see um, or try one of the drinks, but I didn't want to buy a bottle. I'll just you know get a shot from a bar or something. But what made me want to really stop here was this hotel. This hotel looks amazing because they got these mini homes here. And I want to uh, uh, show you how they look. This is really nice right here. Check it out. Wow. Looks very comfortable here. Very accommodating for tourism here. Wow. Talk about adventure. If you are coming on a venture to the Amazon, yo, this is it, man. So any of these homes, oh yeah, we stay in one of these dope homes tonight. And we're gonna walk around this um, random Peruvian town. Nice. So there is immigration next door. I think if you're gonna be here, you're gonna have, probably have to register. We're just visiting, so I don't think they they mind. But uh, yeah, if you're most definitely gonna be here for a day or two, you're probably gonna have to register. All right, I'm here. Aquí, more. Allá solo comida. No hay cerveza. Abajo. Bueno, abajo entonces. Vamos. Tú que tener. Frío, ok, frío. ¿Cómo se dice frío o cerveza aquí? Frío. Me pensó era vestida novio. Frío, frío, aquí ya es frío. Frío, blanco. El, el glace. Frío, aquí llamamos frío. El Mi país se llama hielo. Nieve. Nieve. El botea nieve. Allá, bien frío, fría, bien fría, fría, bien fría. Fría. En esta, en mi país, de mis padres, Haití. Haití. Sí. Se sí. llama uh, glace. 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 All right, guys, I decided uh, to get on the top of the Tuk Tuk to really get a good angle of this place. And uh, I'll show you guys a little bit more of a big view. Big boy style.
essentially, I think, an island. However, the island is a little bit different from the islands you typically would see, like um, in the Caribbean. The water is more uh, darker, murkier, um, but it feels the same. Though. It feels the same. With, but mine is the Caribbean uh, ocean. Now, the, our tour guy is bringing us inland so we can get a drink, but I really believe he's probably going to one of his boy spots because you mean to tell me all these uh, bars I'm, we're passing don't have drinks? dentist place guys so it's a really functioning town man they must have a clinic here as well they got a dentist here hey I think we gotta see a, a decent portion of the town okay oh. hola Try this thing. I knew it. I knew it. It tastes like Malta. Yeah, it's Malta. Yeah. Hey right, guys, we're gonna enjoy here and make it back to uh, Colombia. Wow. In the same minute, like, yo, that's crazy. Yo. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> so where my feet? Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Alright. He wants a tip, he gonna get one. dry out quick it was most definitely worth um, taking the trip so I'm gonna give this guy uh, a decent amount of money or than what he asked for uh, he I, I mean he wasn't even looking for it but I'm gonna give it to him 
All right. Ahora 30 mil pesitos. Okay, so for one hour, he's going to give us a tour in Brazil. 30, uh, uh, 30, 000 pesos. Okay. 30 mil. La hora, no? La hora. Sí. So this this guy right here on the boat was charging us 100,000 an hour. <laughs> okay, so we're about, we're about to pass the three flags and that's the borderline, I guess. Here we go. Such a unique city, man. All this stuff is going down. In a beautiful city, is that too. What's up? Brazil! This is Brazil, guys, right now. Brazil, Brazil! change the city looks a little bit more dustier over on this side of the town but it, it seems more crowded too yeah it's more crowded more like and it's more active very good from having some things because in the world the people who live in this um, particular area, they uh, live a unique life. Um, this communicating and, and this working and networking with their neighbors uh, from Colombia. All right guys, we're gonna go to the airport because we wanna look at what airlines yeah. are working there and see if we can uh, figure out the flight situation, what we're gonna do if we're gonna stay here. So, all right guys, so this is another viewpoint of the, the Rio, the Amazon River, pretty much, from this um, side of town. You don't really see it on um, the Latissa side, but uh, yeah, that's uh, Peru right there. All right, nice. All right guys, so we're at the airport right now. Um, yeah, with this tuk tuk, it can bring you here from Leticia. Um, you're going to have to, before you, I guess, leave, there's a customs uh, office there, and you have to declare you're, you're in the city, uh, in the country, all right? But we're here to see what airlines are available so we can um, figure out the flight situation. Uh, I looked online, it was an airline called Azul, that's one, and yeah, we'll see what else is available here. Pretty decent. Airport. It's really empty. I don't know where to. Okay, here we go. This are airlines here. We'll check it out. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys. I stand corrected. Um, if you are going to the airport to make arrangements um, at the airport, if you're coming from Colombia or Peru, you gotta come to this office here to check in. So that you come in here and then basically they give you, they stamp your passport to let you know you're officially here and how many days you have here. So now we can go back to the airport and see what's up with the, the arrangements. Um, the lady was insisting she didn't want to waste time unless she knew we were good with our passports. But we are good. We got three months. You wonder how you got here, how we got here? Talk to the driver and the driver knew exactly the process of how to get here. So. Porque da três, porque tem que ir daqui para Manaus. Agora você vai então. All right guys, so it's 10 o'clock and it's Friday in this area. So, so let's see what we can find as far as my life is concerned. Interestingly enough, downstairs, I don't know how I missed it when I was showing you the tour here, there's actually a bar here. Yeah, not the restaurant, there's like another bar. And I think my boy's there now, let's go check it out. All right. I think I can hear him too. This is the bar, actually, if we can catch it. Right. Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> he's on the phone, let's see what's going on. 
So, yeah, this hotel's kind of dope, man. But, but we were talking to the guy that was showing us around town. He told us another club. So we might end up going there. Let me see what's going on. Oh, he looked like he occupied already. We'll, we'll figure it out. What's up, dude? <laughs> All right, you look like you had a couple of drinks already. Yeah, she's looking for you, so. Oh, like, she's looking for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah me what? You're leaving now? Yeah, me boy. <laughs> right. This guy right here. Thanks for rescuing me. <laughs> I, I rescue you. I think you don't need any rescue. You're doing exactly what you want to. All right. All right, guys, so uh, after uh, my friend dodged that lady, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are heading to this bar on the corner, literally on the corner of where we're staying. See what we can find. Um, but yeah, the bar we really want to go to is further up. It's a Friday night. I refuse to believe that people don't want to go out, but it is early too. Some places party late. Okay, we'll see how so, long this place party. It's like 10. It's 10 right now. 10 21. So it's early. All right. See what happens. All right, so this one looks like it has some more people in it. That looks empty. All right, the other one right here looks empty. Except for this one, there are people here hanging out. All right, guys, so we took a tuk tuk and we're heading to beer. Yeah, but this door's not closing. It's <laughs> <laughs> not funny closing. Though. I have no idea where I live. Guys, we are in the Amazon area of Colombia slash Brazil looking for a bar to get some drinks. Yeah, he knows where it's at. Look, where's it at? Okay. And he went around the corner. Yeah, there's a lot more people here. Oh, yeah. Over there, all dead. Okay, it's time to go to bed. I get the first drink. All right. Yeah, these these cars they come in different shapes and sizes, man. All right, guys. So these places look really dope, especially this one has more people, but they're like more coupled up and everything. Everybody's talking, friends. Might be a good place to drink, and also this one right here. This looks promising. This one looks promising. This looks promising. I got us. This looks more promising than that one. That one looks more like you and your boyfriend or you and your girlfriend. This looks more like a freelance. Freelance? Yeah. <laughs> this guy told us another club. Is it club? Another one. He oh. said it's another one. Okay. We're going. We're going. Let's go. Yeah, let's go find that. Hey, man. You are in the middle of the Amazon looking for a beer, a drink, and maybe uh, some ladies. Hi. How you feel? What? You can't go wrong with this, man. It's an adventure, right? It's an adventure. Okay. <laughs> The, the, the joy of life is in the journey. Right, the journey. Yeah, yeah so. always enjoy the journey, man. Oh, man. Because I remember um, being in um, Havana, yeah. Cuba, and I'm in one of those nice cars, uh, convertible yeah. antique cars, right into the club. <laughs> By myself, I'm the only one in the back seat. Exactly. And we're just headed to a club, I don't know what it is. What? And you the guy's like, going. yeah, <laughs> the guy said, I got you, I'm gonna bring you to a good club. Okay. He brought me. So magical about these moments, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the other club right here. It's called Moles, and it has really good music here. I can't lie. So we're gonna see how it goes, right? Looks like there's a lot more people in the dance floor in here, anyway. So check it out. Let's go. We went to Brazil. And Brazil is just on another level of pandemonium. Most definitely a lot more women here. Right? But they're listening to a live band. Um, seems like a cool area right here. But uh, this guy is telling me there's another one to go to. So we might just go to the other one. <laughs>
Guys, it is four, then there four, and everybody leaving, but this guy is observant. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, why is people leaving this way instead of that way? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently they got a little something going on where they keep it going. Yep. But you gotta go in the building, so the party going. The party never stopped in the border town. <laughs> I'm trying to go, I I'm trying to go this way to get some food. What's up? Okay. Oh, you going, where you going? You going this way? Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. I see oh. the oh, I think we going that way. We going that way. <laughs> oh, that way. I think oh, we're not even that way. I think we're not even going to get any sleep. No, we're no. just going to grab us up. We're going to sleep. I'm gonna go get her number, I'll be back. Oh yeah, it might be an opportunity for us to catch a uh, boat early in the morning. If that happens, we're not gonna get any sleep. Just party, and then at a certain time, leave, get our stuff, and then go to the boat and see if we can get on the boat. If not, the boat leaves at eight o'clock, but we wanna be there at 6.30, so we can secure uh, a seat. Uh, so, we'll see. I'm on right here, fell in love with this girl right here. Dale mi amor, el viaje siempre me lo haces mejor. Volando rico en los sueños. California. Sí, right. But he referred to Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, we go. It's my city, right? Oh, yeah. Best you dance perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a car. Uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna come over there. We're gonna Where's the fun part, yo? I see the bit. We need a social. All right. You were scandalous, and I'm gonna scandal, but we're gonna scandal it. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> hey. So we go to Scandalous. We're not going to the after party no. here. We're, that's okay. slow. That's slow, but we're gonna go to Scandalous. That's an after party, and. No this guy's like, what are you doing? Where are we are going? <laughs> we going to Scandalous? Well, let's get a tuk tuk. I get this guy because this is a more sturdier bike. All right, guys. Uh, so you we're heading, we're heading to Scandalous right now. Things are ready for me. We're gonna go to Scandalous. The party don't end right there. And I got my boy well, right the party there. don't end because this guy, I would have been sleeping right now. I got my boy right there. I tell you, I would have. Listen, I would have been sleeping right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get to the boat in two hours. We will get to the boat in two hours, okay? Let's go get it. You better follow my boy. You better follow him. Check his channel out, man. He need that motion, man. Carlos, Carlos, vamos! Oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> you didn't do nothing. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, yo, if it's scandalous over here, I'll pay you 10 mil. I'm gonna be. We're gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna pay you 10 mil complete. Uh, yeah, look at this. Look, look, look. We're at the border, bro. We are, guys, we are at the border. For perspective. This is the Brazil side. Restaurant. Oh, he's slowing down. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that's scandalous. What type is this bar close? It don't close. It look like we gonna leave. Like, if the part, the party's good here or not? 
Like Is the party good in here? Yeah, it's a, okay. it's a good party, right? Let's do it. Lava, yeah, Brasilera canta a capella. Dime en Portugueta lo que quieras. Yo te llego en cualquier manera.